Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Potato Chief. Welcome to a reaction. We are reacting to the reveal of the Xbox Series S. S for Sierra, not, for, not F for Foxtrot or X for uh, X Ray. I use that. I use phonetic alphabet work. Anyway, we are looking at the Xbox Series S, the official trailer. So, uh, earlier this morning, I saw uh, messages go around that the new X, the Series S, has been leaked, and I was like, no, 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 I don't want to see. I don't like to look at leaks, really. But now it's officially been announced by Xbox, and I have a tra the trailer up ready to go. So we're gonna have a little look at the Series S. It's been rumored for a while. It was known as the Lockhart. Uh, is this the non? This is the Discless all digital Xbox Series X, which is probably gonna be a lower spec model. This is what the rumor's been going around, and all the pictures look like like GameCube, which I'm really hoping has that design because that was really cool. Anyway, I'm rambling. Let's just watch it. Let's watch the trailer. I'm scared. I'm I'm scared and nervous, but I want I want to get the Series X. I don't know if the S is gonna be tempted enough for me, but let's have a little look. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I assumed it'd be white, but that's black. Or is it? Is it? Okay. I don't know if this music's gonna get me copyright striked or not. Quite possibly. Let's lower. Let's lower the volume a bit, just in case. Oh. Oh. What? Um. It's a speaker. The smallest Xbox ever, 60% smaller than the Xbox Series X. Next generation speed with a custom NVIDIA SSD. That's awesome. Uh, incredible loading time, seamless game switching. So it has all the same like speeds and stuff as the Xbox Series X. All digital experience, we knew that. It still does 120 frames, that's impressive. Okay. And it has the share button and all that still. Game Pass, which is the best deal in gaming, best deal in entertainment, I personally think. Love Game Pass. That's the reason I'm buying a Series X at launch. Uh, next games, Dex Chain and Games Optimized. Assassin's Creed, Halo. Interesting. I'm not sure how I feel about that big disc. Like, I'm assuming that's the fan, right? All digital. Four, it's, four, it's not 4K, but that's fine. It upscales to 4K. Only for... Ooh, $300. Ooh. No, oh, I'm trying to read that. Let me read, let me read your stats. Bring your stats up. All digital. 440, 1440p. Uh, I only have a 1080p TV downstairs. I was buy, I'm, I'm about to buy a 4K TV just for the next gen. So uh, maybe I might not need to buy a 4K TV straight away. Maybe I could buy, buy this and then... Stay on this for like a year and then move up to the 4K version. I don't know. DirectX ray tracing. Ray tracing's great. That's like one of the main features. I don't really get it. It's something to do with lighting. <laughs> but it looks cool. Uh, rate shading. Refresh rate. Nice. Ultra low latency. 512. I thought I saw that. 512 gigabytes of SSD. SSD, awesome. 512 gigabytes. No, that's pretty poor. That's pretty not good. A terabyte should be the minimum with this generation. But they, uh, saying that I have watched videos about the Xbox uh, where they said they've come up with a new technique to minimize file sizes or minimize game sizes. So they shouldn't be as big this generation. We shouldn't have like 200 gig Call of Duty games like we have this generation. Um, I mean, that's coming from the architects of the Xbox. I watched an interview about it. He was saying that they've designed a way to make game sizes smaller. So I'm hoping that's true, and it's not just like you know smoke blowing smoke up my butt. Uh, 4K streaming media player, 4K upscaling for games. So that's cool. It does do 4K, but not native, and not proper 4K. It's like fake 4K. Am I going to notice the difference? Is the average consumer going to notice the difference? Probably not. Actually, this is a this is a really enticing offer, and it's the smallest Xbox. And I think it said 299 dollars, right? Series S, $299. Coming November. Now that's cool. So I'm I'm into this. I'm dope I think it's dope. Um I would have I think I prefer the mock up versions which look like GameCubes. So it's like the Series X but just shorter. It's like a cube a cube shaped Xbox, which would be I think that would have been cooler design. I don't know why the fan isn't white. 
I don't know why you got an all white console with a big black fan in the middle of it. It kind of throws it off a little bit. It's kind of, it almost looks retro, right? I mean, it doesn't quite look, I don't hate it. I don't think it's a terrible design. I think it's a good design, to be honest. Um, smaller than the Xbox, is 60% smaller. Still has the MVD SSD drive. Still incredible. It's still got a lot of the great features that the Series X has, which is great. And it has Game Pass. The only real downside is it doesn't do 4K properly, but I don't have a 4K TV yet. So maybe I just not get a 4K TV and just get this, right? And obviously it doesn't have a disk drive, but I do most of my gaming digitally. Um, hmm. Interesting. I think I still think if you if you have not got Game Pass, that's a really worthwhile investment. It's such a good service. So that in itself makes it worthwhile. Tempted. Like, this is the smallest console ever, and it plays most Game Pass games or plays all the Xbox Game Pass games. It might be worth. It might. Be, I might. I might get a Series X and then get this like a year or two later and have it in my home office or have it attached to the, like the home TV down. So I got my own private television in my own room, but then I'll have the the living room television. I could maybe have the Series X on it, right? That'd be cool. That'd be kind of cool. And the games seamlessly sync up to each other in the cloud and stuff. And this, I mean, I, if I'm going out on holiday or something, it'd be an easier console to move. Or like go, go like a trip or something and I need to bring a console with me. Obviously, the Switch is obviously the most ideal way of doing that. But if you have to bring a console with you, the Series X is smaller. So, um, dope. Really cool. Smallest Xbox ever. Um... I'm sold. I think that looks really cool. Two ninety nine. Um, hang on. Let me have a look. Let me get Siri up. Siri. Uh, hang on. Siri, how much is two hundred ninety nine US dollars to British pounds? The answer is two hundred twenty nine pounds and twenty two pence. So two hundred feet, two hundred feet pounds over here. But uh, as we got the uh, gaming tax over here, well, it's not. Uh, Basically, whenever there's a new console announced, they up the price. So it's two hundred fifty pound over here. So it'll probably be two hundred fifty over here in the UK, I would imagine. So that's cool. I'm excited for that. Might buy it. That's not a bad option. That's really not a bad option. Maybe even get that and then get a PS Five. Like, you, like, do you need the Series X? The Series X is like the only thing you really need it for is obviously if you want the optimized version, you want to play disc games, and if you have a four K display, want to play four K games. Like that's the like. I don't have a 4K display. I barely buy anything discs. So it's a very tempting op option for me. Especially if it's going to be like $200 cheaper than the, or £200 cheaper than the Series X. Which we're not sure about a price yet. But that's got to be soon. And the leak said the Series X was... Uh, yeah, I mean... I mean, it's everything that, that apparently what the leak said it's all true, so that's cool. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the, the the fan of the fan, the fan of the. I'm not a fan of the fan. <laughs> I don't think it's horrible. I think it would have been better if they just made it white. To be honest, just have the uh, so it was all the same, like it was all the same color of the console. I don't know why you got a big black dot in the middle of it. It looks odd, honestly. Let me just. Nothing against it. I think it looks cool. I think it looks cool. I think I'll get used to that really quickly. If I bought it, I wouldn't. I'd would probably get used to it in like a day. It's not something that it looks odd now because we've only just seen it. But I think I'll get used to that really fast. I think it looks cool. What do you guys think though? Let me know in the comments below. Are you getting an Xbox Series S, a Series X, or are you getting a PS Five? Are you sticking with PC, or do you have a Switch, or you just don't play video games in general? Or you just wish I would just talk about wrestling all the time and not video games, which would be understandable because I'm mainly a wrestling channel. But you know. Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, too sweet. Later, guys.